Sports.com. Caldwell Sports is coming up. Time to head live to the gym for a preview of tonight's action with the WPKY Sports Crew on 1580 103.3 WPKY. The WPKY Caldwell County pregame show is on the air. 1580 103.3 WPKY. And good evening, everybody. Welcome to the cab. Tonight, the Caldwell County Tigers host the Marshall County Marshals. We'll start breaking this one down on the Athletic Center pregame show next on your home for Tiger basketball, 1580, 103.3 WPKY. Penny Royal Hospice is offering a free service to those who may not yet be ready for hospice care. Hospice Executive Director Kelly Martin explains. And transitions is for those folks that are not quite hospice appropriate or not ready for hospice just because they're not ready to just embrace the fact that terminal illness has come and life is limited. So we have a, a bridge of for people who are not there yet, who may still be receiving different types of treatments, who may have a chronic illness that just won't go away, but it's frustrating and they're trying to navigate the healthcare system. Transitions is a free, non-medical, professionally managed program providing services to individuals and families coping with a chronic or terminal diagnosis. Transitions offers emotional support as well as case management for clients and caregivers alike. Find out what Transitions can do for you. Contact Penny Royal Hospice through Facebook or learn more at pennyroyalhospice.com. Your local McDonald's wants you to know that they are ready to serve you for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Dine-in or the drive through is always open, and they offer curbside pickup service. To avoid the wait in the drive through you can download the McDonald's app and try curbside pickup. Stop in soon and enjoy breakfast, lunch, or dinner at your local McDonald's. Proud to be a part of this community. McDonald's of Princeton, proud supporters of the Caldwell County Tigers. We believe you want to make wise financial decisions and live generously. At First Southern National Bank, we are making that even easier. Banking should be convenient for you and your schedule. With our new ITMs, a video teller is available to assist you with almost everything you do inside a bank or at an ATM. You don't have to get out of your car, and the ITMs will offer extended hours, making it easier to deposit checks, withdraw cash, and more. Learn more about ITMs at fsnb.net. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. A lot goes into taking care of your property. You need equipment with more reliability and versatility built in. Like Kubota BX and L-Series compact tractors, rated number one in durability and owner experience. Z-Series mowers that deliver a quality cut and sidekick utility vehicles where durability meets speed. Visit your local Kubota dealer for a demo today. HMR AgriPower is your Kubota dealer for sales, service, and parts. Located at 4900 Eagle Way in Hopkinsville. At YourSportsEdge.com, we strive every day to continue to bring you the gold standard in high school sports coverage with more on your teams and your players. Where did it show up there? And while they are not gold, those crystal awards we have won for doing what we love to do are pretty cool, too. The Kentucky Broadcaster's Best Digital Product Award winner. SportsEdge.com. Swing Ride Driving Range wants to wish the Tigers all the best. Go Tigers from Swing Ride Driving Range. And welcome back to the cab and into the Athletic Center pregame show. The Athletic Center is your one-stop shop for all of your sports needs. Whatever the sport, the Athletic Center has you covered from head to toe. Dennis Stevens and Bob Hayes here with you courtside tonight. We've got Bryce Thompson here at the table along with us, back in the truck, John Miller and a newcomer, Madison French, joins the WPKY sports crew tonight. So she will be there learning the ropes tonight, Bob, back at the station. But tonight, the Caldwell County Lady Tiger, or Caldwell County Tigers, excuse me, take on the Marshall County Marshals. Caldwell County comes into tonight at 3 and 10. Marshall County, a very strong 13 and 4 record. Uh, this is one of the top three teams out of the first region, Bob. Caldwell County has been off a few days after that All-A Classic week last week, and they've got their work cut out for them tonight getting back in the gym against Marshall County. You are correct, Dennis. We do have our work cut out tonight. Looking at Marshall County, they have a squad of 16 young men out here. All of them are uh, sophomores on up. So 
the uh, and then we just witnessed a JV game that uh, Marshall County won by about I think 50, it was 30, uh, 58, 28, something like that, about 30 points. So they they have an outstanding program down there. Uh, obviously, a lot of uh, people to draw from in Marshall County, Calvert City, South Warren, Benton, all those uh, communities down there. Tigers have their work out cut out for us tonight. Caldwell County comes in to tonight, as we said, at 3-10 and 10 on the season. It seems like the, the biggest obstacle for Caldwell County has been getting everybody healthy, Bob, and we'll talk about that a little bit here. Uh, we'll go ahead and do the injury report here on the Athletic Center pregame show. Injury report brought to you by Caldwell Medical Associates Orthopedic Clinic, your one-stop shop for your orthopedic care to get you back out on the court. They have a skilled team of providers that have all the experience and knowledge necessary to treat and diagnose a wide range of orthopedic services. That's Caldwell Medical Center and Caldwell Medical Associates Orthopedic Clinic uh, here in Princeton. And Bob, uh, again, Caldwell County not at full force tonight on the court. I think, Dennis, we don't we have not had a uh, our regular starting lineup uh, intact at all this year. Uh, the the uh, young man still out tonight is Colin Whittington. This is week beginning of week number two on his sprained ankle. The diagnosis at first, he'd be out two to four weeks. So this is week number two, the, the beginning of week number two. So he looks to be gone another two weeks possibly or maybe even longer. But back in the lineup tonight is Jay Darius Wilson, who had to miss last week's game uh, due to something that uh, occurred at with him, so uh, we, we we do have one of our two guys back, and hopefully we can get some kind of uh, outstanding game out of Jay Darius, bumping around inside. Marshall County is going to be tough and physical. Uh, they they just know how to play basketball, Dennis. And it kind of looks like uh, D-Man Thompson also in street clothes tonight for Caldwell County. So that is a a big hit on the inside for the Tigers. Uh, when it rains, it pours, and it's poured this year for Caldwell County, that, that's for sure. I know Coach K would just like to get all five regular starters on the floor just to see what he would have for maybe a week or two before getting into district tournaments because, Bob, that's, that's creeping up pretty closely. We've got a, just a handful of games this week. You really start getting into it earnest with a lot of doubleheaders and a lot of district games coming up uh, in the next couple of weeks heading into February. So. I'm sure he wants to get those players healthy, get them back out on the court, and get them playing together at least two or three games before they head into uh, that last week of the season and tournament action. It, it would be nice to have, like you say, two or three games where they know each other and have, having worked in practice uh, running their sets and their offense to, to know uh, who's going to be where and when and what, what they can do pass-wise, shot-wise, or or, or what, but it looks like the uh, we, we've been dealt a hand this year that, that nobody knows how it's going to wind up, Dennis. The horn sounds for the three-minute warning before we tip this one off. That's going to wrap it up for us on the Athletic Center pregame show. The Athletic Center is your one-stop shop for all of your sports needs. Whatever the sport, the Athletic Center has you covered from head to toe. We're going to take a one-minute break, and when we come back, we'll have the pregame prayer. We'll have the opening lineups and the opening tip. All of that's still to come on your home for Tiger basketball, WPKY. Life is filled with moments, moments we share with those we love, worry about, and strive to protect the most. At Woodman Life, we provide life insurance and retirement products to help protect you and your family so that you can enjoy all the moments to come. This is Josh Ray, your local Woodman Life agent. Come see us at 1009 West Main Street or give us a call at 365-6111. Certain eligibility and age restrictions apply. Woodman of the World Life Insurance Society, Omaha, Nebraska. Fortner Gas Company has been serving the propane needs of Western Kentucky for 70 years. You'll find offices in Princeton and Katy's. They're your local and family-owned propane supplier. Browse their website to discover the many services and products available. You can shop in person or online, and they can answer any and all questions in person or on the phone. If they're already your propane supplier, they say thank you. If they're not, they would love to be. Fortner Gas Company, a family tradition of service since 1951. Welcome back to the cab. About a minute and a half before we tip this one off between the Tigers and the Marshals. Time now for tonight's pregame prayer. 
Holy God, thank you for another night at the gym. We ask that you protect each student that steps on the court tonight, and we also ask that you ask that you bless the efforts of each student in ways they never thought possible. And further, Lord, we ask you to give comfort to those people still suffering from the effects of the tornado, emotionally or financially. We ask you to give courage and sportsmanship to the players, patience and understanding to the coaches, wisdom and knowledge to the game officials, and lastly, peace to us all. We ask these things in your precious name. Amen. Amen. Ticking up close to the tip-off tonight between the Tigers and the Marshals here from the cab. Tip-off tonight brought to you by Travis Construction and Concrete for all of your construction and concrete needs as well as driveways, porches, foundations, basement walls, decorative concrete, remodels, and more. Good luck, Tigers and Lady Tigers. Here's to building a successful year from Travis Construction and Concrete. Oh, say, and tonight's see? national anthem. National Anthem played here at the cab. And, uh, Bob, I think somebody is in a hurry to get home and watch UK in Georgia tonight. This was supposed to be a 7 o'clock tip-off, and <laughs> yeah, it's only about we're, 11 we're, till 7, and we're already into the starting lineups. Starting. If, I, if I can regain my hearing, Dennis. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they did check the speakers out on the National Anthem. Time now for tonight's starting lineups, and for that, I'll turn it over to Bob Hayes. Out first for Marshall County, number 10, Wade Moore, followed by number 3, Trey Wall. Number 20 is Alex Staples. And number 24 is Hunter Wallace. And 34 is Oren Phelps. Now for the Caldwell County Tigers out first is Colin, is Carter Whittington. Xavi Bump is coming out two. Coming out three is Jadarius Wilson. And number 23 is Luke Parker. And number 14 is Ryan Hammock. And maybe we can send a text down to the scorer's table, Dennis. Let's turn the uh, volume down on the <laughs> on the PA. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. I almost forgot. Our first quarter tonight is being brought to us by Cozy Living Interior. Stop in and see Pam out there. It's after Christmas. Sales, a lot of furniture in that story. Baby furniture, beautiful furniture, gifts and registry. Stop in and see Pam. Referees are on the in position, the jump circle. And for the call here in the first quarter, my friend Dennis Stevens. Thank you, Bob. See, Darius Wilson goes up for Caldwell County, gets the tip, kicks it back to Carter Whittington, who tracks it down in the backcourt. He'll bring it across the line against man-to-man -man pressure from Marshall County. Caldwell County in the home whites tonight. Marshall County, of course, in the orange with the blue trim. Tigers going left to right here in the first quarter. And it's Hammett. Hammett has the ball taken away at the top of the circle. Pass underneath on the breakout is up and in by Trey Wall. And it's two to nothing, Marshall County. Trey Wall averaging seven a game. Leading score for Marshall tonight going in is Wade Moore. Number two is Alex Staples. But one thing Marshall does a lot of, Bob, they shoot the three like crazy. 40% on the season, 
and they have already put up, let's see, on the three-pointers, 268 on the season. They're also shooting over 70% from the free throw line, Dennis. Bumpus tries to drive in. Marshall County rips it away, pass inside the lane. Head fake up and in is number 34. That's Oren Phelps. And it's four to nothing. Marshall County just over a minute gone here at the cab. Whittington across the timeline. Handoff to Bumpus. Bumpus at the top of the key. Bumpus fakes the handoff, drives the lane, scoop shot up, no good. Ball tipped and controlled by Marshall County. Quick outlet pass to number three, Wall, Wall, down underneath. Bad shot from Marshall County behind the backboard, missed. And it's Carter Whittington back the other way, goes up for a layup on the right side, but has it blocked from behind by number 24, Hunter Wallace. Very sticky Mm -hmm. defense by Marshall County, Bob. They're on you and on you thick. Caldwell gets it in, but the double team in the corner on Whittington knocked away by Marshall County. 6-17 6-17 left in the first quarter. Caldwell County looking for their first points of the night. Bumpus to take it out all the way down at the far end of the baseline. Lob out to Parker. Marshall County man-to-man back to Whittington. Whittington kick out to Hammett, goes through his fingers, tries to save it and does on the far side. Hammett at midcourt, dribbles back in, pulls up his dribble, gets it to Parker. Parker was making the threes in warm-ups, Bob, top mm-hmm. of the key, turns it down there. A drive, kick out to the corner, Bumpus, head fake, baseline drive, left-hand shot up, no good. And it's Wallace with the board. Marshall County back up the court with Moore. Moore down to Wall, Wall drives baseline, kicks it back out. A three on the way is up and in, Alex Staples. And it's seven to nothing, Marshall County with the early lead. Staples, I think, is one of the kids, Bob, that uh, really shoots the three well. Staples, 16 out of 35, 45, almost 46% three-point shooter on the season. I would call that deadly, Dennis. I'd say that's a pretty good average. You're exactly right. 7-0, Marshall County with five and a half to play in the first quarter. Bumpus off the screen, top of the key, gets in some trouble. Double teamed, hands off to Whittington. Whittington wants to go baseline. He's cut off. Marshall County does a great job of protecting that baseline. Bad pass, looking for Wilson inside, gets away. A no look back for Marshall County. He was going out of bounds, threw it back in, didn't hit it off anybody, and Wilson able to come up with it. Gives it up to Bumpus. Bumpus with a fadeaway off the right side of the goal, up and in. Tough shot to go down. Caldwell County on the board, but Marshall County quickly back the other way, up and blocked J. Darius Wilson. That's where he can make a difference. He's the tallest kid Caldwell County has at around 6'5" and he swatted the one away from Alex Staples. Inbounds pass is a three that doesn't draw anything. Wilson with the rebound. Quick out left side. Whittington, Whittington goes to the hole and gets fouled. So Carter Whittington just back in action last week after an injury that kept him out all of the first part of the season. And he'll step to the line for two Goodwin Insurance free throws. First one up off the front of the rim. Free throws brought to you by Goodwin Insurance, your locally owned independent insurance agency capable of handling all of your insurance needs. Contact Goodwin Insurance for a free quote. Whittington back at the line for Caldwell County. Second free throw up and good. 7-3, Tigers trail this one with about 444 to go in the first quarter. You're listening to Tiger Basketball on WPKY Princeton. A little backcourt pressure from Caldwell County. Marshall County handles it, gets it across into the front court, into the hands of Phelps. Phelps over to number 10 for the three. That's Wade Moore. Moore makes it 10-3, Marshall County. Moore not a bad shooter from the three-point line, 12 out of 40. It's Whittington back the other way, goes right side, pulls up his dribble into the corner. It goes to Maddox, who's checked into the ball game. Maddox lobs in to Wilson. Wilson inside out to Bumpus. Bumpus had the open three, Bob, and you can't wait very long on Marshall County. Now Bumpus is going to try a long three and misses off the back of the rim. Rebound back down to Wallace. Caldwell County man-to-man. Marshall 
Attacks the goal from the right side up. No good, but the tip put back in by Wallace. And it's 12 to three. Just over half of the first quarter gone here at the cab. Whittington drives, kicks it out to Parker. Bob, that was early in the possession, but that's a shot that we look to see Luke Parker take more of right there on the right wing. Marshall County was late getting back to him. Instead, Bumpus drives, gets a little push, no call, misses the shot. And Caldwell County without an offensive board so far. Marshall with another three, no good. Ball on the floor to Maddox. Maddox picks it up for the rebound and gives it back to Whittington. Whittington, left-hand lane drive, late foul called, kind of saved him from that one. That was a bad shot, but kind of a bailout by Marshall County, fortunately for the Tigers. I think it's on number 24. We'll find out here shortly. It is on 24. Hunter Wallace. First free throw off the front of the rim. No good. Yeah, Dennis, I would like to see Luke just shoot the ball just to just to get uh, get his system acclimated to putting the ball up. He's had uh, possibly one or two decent looks at it tonight. J. Darius Wilson out of the game in for Caldwell County, number 52, Jack Roach. Second free throw off the mark. Saved inbounds by Marshall County. They get it into the hands of Logan Davis, who just checked in. Davis at the point. Marshall works it to the corner. Head fake, Wallace drives. Trying to do a kick out, intercepted by Bumpus. Good job defensively by Xavier Bumpus. Lob inside to Roach. Roach with the bump, back out to Bumpus. Back in to Roach. Telegraphed a little too much and stolen away by Marshall, but it was Wallace stepping on the sideline looking for somebody to pass it back into. Dama County with four turnovers. Marshall County now with three. It's Whittington out of the ball game and in for Caldwell County is Cade Rowland. And a foul called on 24, I think. I think that's two quick ones on Wallace if that's who it's on. And Wallace will come out of the game. Chase Brinkley will check in for him. Caldwell County with a very small lineup on the floor right now as J. Darius Wilson is on the bench. Bumpus gets it into Maddox. Maddox back out to Roland. Roland looks underneath, guarded well by Marshall County. Maddox back to Roland. Roland spin move in the corner. And Marshall County is switching to a 2-3 zone. They match up well out of it. Bumpus attacks top of the key, tries to split the top layer, and it's a jump ball called as Number 15, Davis, reaches in on Bumpus and ties him up. 2.22 left in the first, 12-3. Marshall County out early in this one and the basketball. Wade Moore brings it up for the Marshalls. A lob back over to Moore, dumps it off underneath. Nice no-look pass underneath to Alex Staples. And, Bob, one thing that's impressive against uh, uh, for Marshall County is their ball movement. They don't hold on to that ball much more than maybe a second, second and a half, and it's out of their hands. You don't see them dribbling for three or four or five seconds. You're right. It's Roach at the top of the key over to Bumpus. Bumpus off a screen, give and go back to Roach, intercepted. Moore gets it for Marshall, drives up and in for the layup. And so, excuse me, that's Alex Staples with the basket, 16 to 3 with a minute and a half left in the first quarter. Parker has it for Marshall, gets it for a call, well, gets it back to Bumpus, and a three-second call is going to be called on Roach underneath. Seven turnovers for the Tigers here. Marshall still with three here in the first quarter, 127 to play in the quarter. And the Marshalls into the front court, Caldwell County man-to-man defensively. Davis underneath to Staples. Staples up and in. Staples having a big first quarter for Marshall County. Nine points already. He's averaging 11 on the season. Number two score for the Marshalls. One minute to play in the first quarter. Luke Parker at the top of the key. Marshall County showing a 1-3-1 now. 
They have Bumpus tied up on the right wing. Gets out of that, back over to Parker. Parker swings it around. They'll work it to Roland in the corner. Back out to Bumpus. 44 seconds left in the quarter. Back to Roland. Three from the left corner is good. Little Caesars Pizza three-pointer. Cade Roland. Good to see that one go down. Absolutely. Back on the other end, it's Logan Parker for Marshall County. That three, of course, brought to you by Little Caesars of Princeton, home of the 599, hot and ready. A whistle underneath and another foul called on Marshall County. This will be their fourth of the first quarter. The 40. <laughs> Whittington, Hammett, and Wilson all back in for Caldwell County. Bumpus, Maddox, and Parker go out. Roughly 20 seconds left in the first quarter. Lob underneath to Wilson. No good on the shot, just a little strong off the back of the rim. Marshall County with the rebound, still with 12 seconds. Marshall's gonna pull it back out for the last shot. Over to number 15, that's Davis for three, and it's good. We talked about Marshall's proficiency from that three-point line, and it's paying off after one quarter of play. It's Marshall County, 23, Caldwell County, six, back after this. You ride in Princeton, just might buy your vehicle. They are always looking for quality inventory. So if you would like to sell yours, talk to the nice folks at You Ride. Whether you're looking to buy or sell, You Ride is here. They are a hometown crowd and here to deliver the same great customer service they always have. Stop by or call for an appointment with one of their sales specialists. Call 270-365-3018. On the lot, financing is available. You can even apply online at URIDESales.com. You Ride on the Marion Road in Princeton. Hometown proud. Your Planters Bank total checking account is now overflowing with benefits from the new Planters Perks Checking. Get new benefits accessible instantly from the exclusive Planters Perks app. New ways to waive your monthly service charge, valuable savings at area businesses, and you can keep your total current checking access and benefits. Just download the Planters Perks app to get started. Planters Perks, reason number 53 that Planters is the bank where you can expect great things. Member FDIC. And we're back here at the Cavs second quarter. Going to be brought to us by Cozy Living. Interiors next to the bowling alley in Princeton. Beautiful furniture. Stop in and see Pam. Stop in and see Hab. He's your local U-Haul dealer. Cozy Living, everything a home should be. Call County didn't bound it. For the call here in the second quarter, my friend Dennis Stevens. Marshall County controlling the boards early, hitting a couple of threes, and they've broken out to a 23-6 lead as we go into the second quarter. On the floor for Caldwell County, Whittington, Roland, Roach, Wilson and Hammett into the corner. Roland's going to try a three from the other side. This one off the back of the rim, no good. Good block out rebound by number 31, Brinkley. Marshall County quickly back up the court. Spin move up and no good. From the baseline was Parker. Ball knocked out of bounds, and it's going to stay with Marshall County. The Marshalls. Trying to get it in underneath their own basket. Take it all the way out to midcourt to Davis. Davis swings it over to Anderson. Anderson checked into the game late in the first quarter. He has it at the top of the key. Caldwell County going 2-3 zone. You're going to have to bring those zones out as well as Marshall shoots a three. A corner three there from Logan Davis is good. It's okay to play a zone, but you know this team shoots a lot of threes. You're going to have to get out and at least get a hand up a little bit closer, 26 to six. Tigers already down by 20 and just a minute gone in the second quarter. Rolling over to Whittington. Whittington head fake, goes baseline and gets bumped on the jump stop. Look like a Logan Davis will pick up the foul for the Marshals. Whittington to take it out. Lob inside to Wilson. Wilson goes up high, gets it, soft touch. No good on the shot. Tie up underneath between Roach and Parker. Position arrow, though, is with the visiting Marshals. Bumpus is going to check back in, and Roach will come out of the ball game. Roach, a freshman, Bob, that's getting good minutes uh, the last probably three weeks of the season. 
Physically strong, too, Dennis. Caldwell County has come out of that 2-3 zone, making Marshall County work it around. Back out top of the key it goes. They'll work it to Brinkley, into the corner to Davis. Back out to Brinkley, three, off the mark. Rebound Marshall County's Anderson. Anderson with a quick pass underneath to number 23. Robertson has his shot blocked by Wilson, and Bumpus picks up the ball, gets it down court for Caldwell County. Bumpus now, right wing, looks it over. Wilson trying to get position. Good weak side help by Marshall County. Makes that a dangerous pass. All alone, far corner is rolling. Caldwell County tries to work it back around to that side. Now it's Whittington just off the top of the key and gets bumped on the floor. Foul is going to be called, I think, on Brinkley. That will be the sixth team foul on Marshall County. One thing that might, if we start rebounding uh, the ball a little bit better, Bob, might keep us in the ball game, being able to shoot some free throws the rest of the half. Hammett with the basketball over to Whittington. Whittington turned down the shot, sees a hole for the drive, but gets fouled on that drive. Kind of winces. I'm not sure if he steps sideways on that bad foot. But he'll go to the line. Seventh team foul on Marshall County. They still haven't put up who that one was on, did they? And it is on Jacob Wilson. Whittington's free throw is good. Good to get that one to go down for Carter. Been there five times tonight. Has hit two, including this last one. Good crowd on hand tonight here at the cab except most of them are from Marshall County. They have uh, kind of outdistanced us on the fan base tonight. Second free throw also good by Whittington. It's not even close, Dennis. I'd say it's about a two to one ratio it's, of Marshall Countyans to Caldwell Countyans. You kind of knew somebody like Marshall County was in town when we drove up tonight, Bob, and could not park next to the gym <laughs> for all the Marshall people. Marshall County, quick inside pass in the lane, up and in, and the foul. That was Tommy Robertson with the bucket on a good pass from Hunter Anderson. And he'll get the and one. 28 to eight, your score, five and a half to play in the first half. Foul, Conway County's first foul is on Xavier Bumpus. Free throw is good. Biggest lead of the night so far, 29 to eight for Marshall County. Bumpus will bring it up for the Tigers. He's across half court. Marshall County back to man to man. Kind of a mismatch underneath, but Caldwell County could not take advantage as their big man switched off on Roland, but it's intercepted by Marshall County back up the other end. Up and in with the bucket, Tommy Robertson. Bob Marshall County is really getting the ball on these entry passes very far. Uh, inside on Caldwell County, both sides of the lane. They're down on the block or maybe even a foot in the lane. And they're getting it to where they can do something with it quickly. Hammett will try a three and drains it. Little Caesars Pizza three for Ryan Hammett and a quick timeout by Coach K. 444 left to go in the first half. It's 31 to 11. Marshall County back in one minute. Hello, I'm Sheila Gates with Farmers Bank. Is your money working hard or hardly working? With a Farmers Bank certificate deposit, you get a safe investment with a predictable return on your hard-earned dollars. Call today and see how we can make rising interest rates a good thing for your bottom line. For a limited time only, ask about our new money promotion that gives you an even higher rate. Farmers Bank, live unique, bank unique, member FDIC. Terms apply. At Caldwell Medical Center, our transitional care patients receive the same care as they would in a skilled nursing facility, including physical, occupational, respiratory, speech therapies, and more. Every situation is unique. We help our patients reach their personal goals for independent living, all delivered with the care and compassion our patients deserve. Right here, close to home. For more information, visit caldwellmedical.com. And we're back here at the cab so far here in the second quarter, Dennis. Marshall County's outscored the Tigers eight to five. So we want to keep it close and not uh, get the 30, the, the uh, running clock started. 
And for the call here, the remaining 442 of the second quarter, Dennis Stevens. Thank you, Bob. Marshall County into the front court. Caldwell County is going to stay man to man. Marshall's working inside again, one foot in the lane, a little give and go up and in. Pretty play. Tommy Robertson finishes it off for the Marshalls. They threw an entry pass just above the left block and made a cut to the basket. Nobody went with the passer, and he was able to take it back and put it off the glass and in for a 33 to 11 margin. Kind of reminds me of Finkel's out here. <laughs> Wilson on the other end with a short jumper. Gets Caldwell County back within 20. Yeah, Finkel's would run that play and, and a lot of others really well back in the day. Should be a travel call on number three, Trey Wall. Marshall County's four turnover, Caldwell County with nine. Tigers have this one tonight against Marshall. Then uh, it's a double header on Thursday night as Hopkins Central brings both girls and boys teams to the cab. Big district double header here on Thursday. Then on Friday, we will be at Dawson Springs for our district game. Caldwell County's boys taking on the Panthers. And that one at Dawson on Friday night. Turnover Caldwell County with 3.37 to go in the first half. Marshall's working around on the offensive end. Inside the free throw line, kicks it back out for a three attempt, no good. Rebound down to number 12, Thompson. They'll work it back now. One off the elbow is no good. Rebound again, Marshall County. Shot put back up, but blocked. Tommy Robertson had it smacked out of bounds by Jay Darius Wilson. But Bob, two offensive boards on this possession alone for Marshall County. And I'm not sure if Caldwell County has one at this point. Caldwell County has four rebounds so far tonight. Jay Darius with three of them. And I think they've all been defensive end rebounds. Marshall's. Back into the hands of Wall. Wall over to Thompson. Thompson drives, kicks it into the corner to Phelps. Phelps back out. Wall with it now on the baseline. He's double teamed, but that leaves alone Thompson. Thompson misses an easy left-handed layup. Oh, excuse me, it's Robertson. Fortunately for Caldwell County, did not convert it. And it's the Tigers back on the other end. Hammett off a screen from Parker, gets it to Wilson. Wilson to Maddox. Maddox had to pick up his dribble at the top of the key. Tigers working around to Roland now. Marshall County really comes out with that man-to-man -man defense all the way pretty much to the volleyball stripe, Bob, so they're not giving Caldwell County anything reasonably close. The Tigers are being tightly guarded. Give and go from Maddox over to Wilson is good. Wilson having a good game for Caldwell County. 33-15 is your score. Two minutes to play in the first half. Head fake, three on the way, no good. Jadarius Wilson high for the rebound for the Tigers. His fourth rebound of the evening. Cade rolling at the point for Caldwell County. Gives it up to Hammett. Hammett a little pick and roll to Wilson. Wilson couldn't find the handle. Picked off by Marshall County. Up and no good. Rebound though by Marshall. Back up and no good. Finally, Wilson gets the rebound off the Phelps miss. And it's rolling back the other way for Caldwell County. Hammett gets it off a screen, tries a three, no good. Phelps with the board. And Marshall County quickly back the other way. Thompson drives baseline, backs his way back in, up and in, right before Wilson got there. He had to hurry up and shoot that one because Wilson was looming to block that one out. But he does convert under a minute to play, 35-15. Marshall County anticipated the pass, picks it off, get it into the hands of Anderson. Anderson goes up for the shot, but gets fouled. So it's going to be Hunter Anderson to go to the free throw line for Marshall County. Just 51 seconds left in a very fast first half. Foul is on Cade rolling his first. Free throw up and rims out. Three substitutions for Marshall County, 22 and 42. 22 is Phillips, 42 
is Wilson, and I think it was 15 back into the ball game. That's Logan Davis. Second free throw for Marshall off the front of the rim. No good. Rebound Marshall County easily back up and in was Jacob Wilson, probably the tallest player uh, by far for Marshall County on the floor right now. Caldwell County down 22 with about a half a minute left in the first half. Parker with it at the top of the key. Over to Roland. Roland off of Parker screen. Caldwell County trying the pick and rolls, but Marshall County does a good job of switching. Keeping Caldwell County with uh, not much looks inside of what, Bob, 15, 16 mm -hmm. feet so far tonight at all, except for Wilson. Pass picked off from Parker. Marshall County back the other way, five seconds. Marshall drives the lane up and in. That was number 22 with the bucket, Kaiser Phillips. And we'll go to halftime with Caldwell County down big in this one. At the half, it's Marshall County 39, Caldwell County 15. We'll take a break, and when we come back, we'll get underway with the Travis Construction and Concrete Halftime Show next on your home for Tiger basketball, WPKY. Did all the holiday goodies play havoc on your waistline? And now it's time to focus on how the bathing suit is going to fit come summertime. Trilogy Performance Sports offers terrific programs designed to get you in shape fast. So save your money and your dignity. Trilogy wants to help you get in shape with their New Year sales the whole month of January. Don't wait. Get started today at Trilogy in Princeton. Follow Trilogy Performance Sports on Facebook for more details. What are we going to do? Doctor, will he be okay? Unexpected happens. Goodwin Insurance Agency has you covered with auto, home, life, commercial, boat, and RV insurance. That way, when the unexpected happens... Congratulations, it's a girl. You're covered. Goodwin Insurance of Princeton, Kate is or Marion or online at insurewithgoodwin.com. At Trisius, they're ordering it your way. How would you like to have a vehicle built just for you? Little things are important, like rich colors, big screens and displays, almost like watching TV. Exteriors with beautiful style and powerful engines that respond to the lightest touch on the accelerator. It's time to get what you want. Order your new ride and feel the thrill when you drive off the lot. Trisius in Princeton is the one-stop shop for everything your vehicle needs. For more information, visit Trisius.com. That's Trisius.com. Happy New Year, Penny Ryle Electric members. With each each new year, it becomes even more important that Penny Ryle Electric has your most up-to-date contact information on file. By updating your account information, you ensure that Penny Ryle Electric can best communicate usage and outage information with you. Plus, if you update your information before February 28th, you'll automatically be eligible to win one of several great prizes. Do it today at PRECC.com or stop by and see us. Best wishes for an amazing year from Penny Ryle Electric. For 25 years, La Potosina Mexican Restaurant has been your choice for authentic Mexican food. They appreciate your business through the years. Open seven days a week for lunch and dinner. Pair your favorite meals with your favorite margarita. Enjoy dining in or call in for carryouts. Call 270-365-3848 to place your order. La Potosina Mexican Restaurant with locations in Princeton and Marion. Be sure to follow them on Facebook. And thanks again for 25 great years question of the day who loves to eat is that a trick question i mean eating is like my life okay so who loves to eat for even less money hello i eat all the time visit wpkyonline.com and click on big deals it's a sale every day on gift certificates to all your favorite restaurants like bambinos black patch grill barbecue shack davos burger barn harper house big john's barbecue and the list goes on and on and on visit wpkyonline.com and click on big deals it's a fabulous way to support local save money and eat. Cozy Living Interior and Boutique, cheering on all Tiger athletes. Welcome back to the cab and into the Travis Construction and Concrete Halftime Show. Travis Construction and Concrete for all of your construction and concrete needs, as well as driveways, porches, foundations, basement walls, decorative concrete, remodels, and much more. Here's to building a successful year from Travis Construction and Concrete. Marshall County jumped out in this one early and the, took a big lead to the locker room, 39-15. Marshall County dominating the boards on both ends. 
and Caldwell County not having a lot of luck getting anything, anything inside offensively except to maybe Jadarius Wilson with a, a few lobs, but Caldwell County struggling offensively to find anything open and trail here at the half, 39 to 15. Time now for a look at the stats of the first half. Stats, of course, brought to you by our friends at Ackridge Farm Supply, Ace Hardware, a fourth generation family business. Ackridge has been providing high quality goods and services to Western Kentucky farmers and homeowners since 1933. They offer stores in Fredonia and Eddyville to serve all of your needs. And Bob, we have used those guys quite a bit with the new house, uh, especially with the paints. They do a terrific job and it's good having a place you can go either Fredonia or Eddyville to uh, shop with those guys, but they are wonderful. If you're looking into anything along that lines, we highly recommend the paint department at Ackridge. That's a wonderful business run by a really, really nice family, Dennis, and you're right. They have everything you'd want to to do your house up right. We, we're not that far along in the process oh, of having, having to knock on their door, but that day is coming, as they say. Absolutely. And here in the first half, Caldwell County trailed by 17 at the end of one quarter play, 23-6, to six, and uh, Marshall County outscores the – Tigers 16 to nine, and Conway County kind of let that second quarter get get past them. In the last 30 seconds, we turn turn the ball over twice. They go down and, and make uh, two quick buckets. So the lead now for Marshall County is 24 here at halftime, 39 to 15. Here's some here's a staggering stat, Dennis. Marshall County had 11 players score in the first half. The scoring for Conway County. Led in the first half by J. Darius Wilson. He had four points on two two-point field goals. Three points for Cade Rowland on a three-point field goal. Three points for Ryan Hammett on a three-point field goal. Three points for Carter Whittington on three out of six from the free throw line. Carter was the only Tiger shooting free throws in the first half. And two points for Xavier Bumpus on a two-pointer. Total of 15 points for the Tigers here in the first half. Tigers with only seven rebounds here in the first half. Jay Darius with five of them. Ryan Hammett with one. Luke Maddox with one. Conwell County, 13 turnovers, and that's where the game obviously can get away from you. 13 turnovers in the first half. Marshall County with only four. And now for Marshall County, uh, as I mentioned, 11 players scoring. Most of the players on their bench seeing action in the first half. Marshall County in the first half led by Alex Staples with nine points. Seven points for Tommy Robertson. Three points for Wade Moore. Six points for Logan Davis. Two points for Logan Parker. Two points for Trey Wall. Two points for Jack Thompson. Two points for Kaiser Phillips. Two points for Hunter Wallace. Two points for Oren Phelps. Two points for Jason Wilson. So total of uh, 39 points at the free throw line in the first half. Marshall only one out of three in that department. Uh, obviously not on their shooting percentages in the over the season where they're shooting roughly 70%. Two out of three would have not brought that percentage down much, but one out of three will have just a minor impact on that uh, percentage. So just, just too much strength, too much uh, quickness, too much uh, um, upper-class play, I would say, Dennis, by by the Marshalls tonight here in the first half. Well, if you come out, you, you didn't really uh, look for Marshall to be as quick, but they really moved the basketball around offensively, kept Caldwell County chasing a lot, and Caldwell County over-pursued several times, especially late in that second quarter, as they had a lot of plays just go to the left side, just a quick pass and cut, little give and goes, and that's why they had 11 players in the scorebook because it seemed like everybody that checked in ran that same play, ran it well after four or five passes by Marshall County, and they were able to hit layups and get in the scorebook. But Caldwell County also getting out-rebounded, Marshall County wearing it out on the offensive end especially. I don't know that Caldwell County has pulled down an offensive rebound, maybe one or two the entire game, but Marshall County living on that here in the first half, and that's part of the reason you see Marshall County up 39-15. Then the other thing, they guard you really well, not just within the 15 feet of the basket, but out to 25 feet. And uh, we can't get 
our sets run crisply enough where we get an open shot. We've had maybe five open shots in the first half, and a couple of them have gone down. Uh, but well, but they're, you say they're open heavily shots, guarded. But uh, Caldwell County has got to be a little quicker and ready to shoot. Uh, uh, Hammett always is. Hammett's ready to shoot. He got the ball in that first half, made the three. But Caldwell County did have some open looks. But if you hesitate against Marshall County, it's not going to be open very long. Cade, Cade Rowland had one. Uh, what I would say, his three was under fairly contested guarding. Uh, but but we've, we've had four, five opportunities to, to put it up from outside. We're not going to get anything in close tonight. But there, there's too much defensive guarding going on in the lane and around the lane. Uh, we're just going to have to rely on the, either the 20-foot shot or the 10-foot shot here. Yeah, I know Caldwell County wants to go to Wilson, but their backside help on Wilson is making that a really dangerous pass into the interior. They're guarding him like uh, Sheepway is being <laughs> yeah, guarded. Absolutely, they're, they're one running, in front and one in back. You're yes, right. and, and maybe one from the side where he receives the ball. We got 18 seconds remaining here in half. The third quarter is going to be brought to us by Cozy Living Interiors. They are here in Princeton. They have a nice store, beautiful furniture, baby furniture. Sales, I'm sure, after Christmas sales going on out at the store. Stop in and see Pam, see what kind of deal you can make. Cozy living, everything a home should be. And that's going to wrap it up for us on the Travis Construction and Concrete Halftime Report. About to get underway here in the second half. And Caldwell County will inbound it to start the second half. And for the call, Dennis Stevens. Caldwell County comes out on the floor with Bumpus, Roach, Parker, Wilson, and Whittington. Down low, Roach misses a shot, rebound. Marshall County quickly, the Marshals back up the court, up, and they're going to wave it off a foul. Oh, they're going to say a travel. Too many Euro steps, mm -hmm. and Marshall County with the first turnover of the second half. We, and we've got Jack Roach in the lineup now. A yeah. little, little extra beef in there on the boards along with Jay Darius Wilson. Roach replacing Hammett in the starting lineup for the second half. One and done for Caldwell County offensively. Marshall County quickly back up court. They'll fake a three, instead turn it over to a three in the corner is good. Trey Wall buries the corner three, ties the net up, and it's 42-25. Biggest lead of the night so far by Marshall County. And Caldwell County is going to have to uh, control this quarter a little better, Bob, or you're looking at a running clock. Pass tipped from Whittington to Roach, stolen by Marshall County, and it's back up and in on the outlet. Little snowbird by Wall, and it's 44-15. Whittington brings it up for the Tigers. Goes to Bumpus, left wing, out to Roach, top of the key. Whittington directing traffic with Parker. Now Carter comes back, takes the ball, drives into the lane, puts it up or gives it up to Wilson who puts it up and in and gets fouled. That nice. was a very nice, nice pass man. through traffic by Carter Whittington. And you gotta give Jay Darius credit for, for anticipating the pass and catching it. Goodwin insurance free throw coming up for Jay Darius Wilson. Misses the shot, rebound Marshall County's Moore. Moore back the other way for Marshall County, Caldwell County, man-to-man. -man. That's Wallace with the basketball. Takes it over to Wall. Wall out to Moore. Moore, spin move, kicks it into the corner. A three on the way, no good. Ball tapped out of bounds, and it's Caldwell County basketball. 6.20 left to play in the third quarter. Tigers trail this one 44-17. Whittington. Gets the inbounds pass, he'll bring it up the court. Marshall County with a man-to-man -man defense and they really bring that defense out way around the perimeter. Bumpus off a screen, gets the pass, fires a three, no good. First offensive board, Luke Parker for Caldwell County that I can remember tonight. He gets it back to Hammett, Hammett fires a three, doesn't draw anything and will drop out of bounds. Nice, nice rebound by Luke that time. That's something I think Parker's going to bring. The more he gets used to playing at this speed, 
the better off Caldwell County is going to be. Quickly on the other end, Marshall wastes no time. They get it to Wallace, and he puts it up and in. 46-17. Whittington has to pull up his dribble, finds Hammett back to Whittington, top of the key. Whittington over to Hammett, lobs it inside, double team on Roach. It's picked off by Staples. Staples into the corner to Wall. Wall dribbles it back around. They'll dump it inside. Number 34 up and in, and the foul. That's Oren Phelps. Phelps, a broad-shouldered kid, got good position on the pass, and little spin left-handed move puts it up and in. And the lead has grown to 31. Phelps free throw, no good. Marshall had the rebound. We'll see if it's knocked out and is by Caldwell County. Marshall County, a very good team. We knew that coming in, 12 and three on the season. Parker knocks the inbounds pass back out of bounds. It'll stay Marshall basketball with 5-16 left to play in the third quarter. Phelps with it over to Moore. Moore to Wall, Wall on the wing. Looking down inside for Phelps. Back out to Moore, good on the three. Trey Wall, excuse me, on the uh, three. 51-17. Hammett for Caldwell County. Goes top of the key, gets double teamed. Wanted to go down low off the double team, but it's picked off by Wall, who takes it coast to coast. 53-17. I think that kicks in. Should kick in the the running. Running clock. I was going to let you check my math, Bob. It did. (laughs) 36-point lead. 36 is it. (laughs) And again, Caldwell County tries to go inside, but fronted on Roach was number 24, Wallace. Marshall quickly back up the court and just pouring it on now as Alex Staples gets in the lane and converts for Marshall County, 55-17. Timeout called on the floor, Bob, and I'll let you tell the folks about our timeout sponsors because this is the first called timeout we've had tonight. 418 left to play in the third quarter, 55-17 your score and timeout on the floor. Our timeout is brought to us tonight by Madisonville Community College. Are you looking to further your education, enrich your career, build on existing skills, or gain new ones? MCC is your college for an affordable, flexible, and convenient path to reach your goal. Visit madisonville.kctcs.edu for more information. Marshall County with uh, quick baskets here. Cobble County with four turnovers. And I bet uh, Marshall County has converted on all four turnovers the combo players have had here in the third quarter, Dennis. Marshall County from the first quarter on, Bob, has been able to work that ball on these entry passes, get somebody open in that lane. They have made a ton of points tonight in the paint, so that's a big plus for them. And when they do miss, they have been rebounding at such a good rate. This was going to be hard, you knew, for Caldwell County coming in after we saw one quarter of play. Probably knew it wasn't our night, but Marshall County, just a very impressive fundamental team that does a lot of things well on both ends of the court. They do. Marshall County already with 16 points here in the third quarter. All of all they had in the second quarter was 16 for the whole quarter. So they, they can score in bunches. Action back in play on the floor as Whittington brings it up for Caldwell County. 2-3 zone by Marshall with Bumpus now at the top of the key. Pulls up his dribble over to Maddox. He'll whip it to the corner to Parker. Parker back out to Whittington. Whittington with no dribble. Has to go to somebody. Had almost a five-second call. Gets it to Bumpus. Bumpus drives. Shot missed, but a collision underneath. Still haven't made the call. I think the officials are talking to each other. See which one had a block, which one had a charge, and they're going to go with the block as Bumpus drove low. Bob, I did not see that number that he put up as a player in the game. I thought he signaled 23. It's 24. 24 for Marshall County is Hunter Wallace. It's his third foul. Xavier Bumpus at the line for two Goodwin Insurance free throws. First one up and in. Contact Goodwin Insurance for a free quote anytime. They are your locally owned independent insurance agency. Is that Caldwell's first point? Uh, of the second the half, Second yes. half. No, excuse me. We had Jay Darius. That's right, Jay Darius with the bucket. 
20, or 55 to 19. Second free throw good. The second. Mm -hmm. Three and a half to play in the third quarter. We are in a running clock. Marshall works it out to the wing to Wallace. Wallace drives baseline, wants to go up, has it blocked by Wilson, ball loose on the floor. Picked up by Parker for Marshall County. Parker to Robertson. They'll whip it into the corner this time to Davis. Davis turned down the three, feeds it inside. Now another kick out to the corner. A three on the way is good. Hunter Anderson, 58-19. Third three here in the second half. Lob inside to Wilson, but that one picked off by that backside help that we talked about earlier. Marshall County throw, throws it away on the outlet pass after the steal. So a quick turnover for each team gives it back to Caldwell County. Two turnovers for Marshall here in the second half, five for the Tigers. Clock continues to run. And for Caldwell County is going to be Layton Wall. Bumpus will come out of the basketball game. Took us a minute to get those subs in and out, Dennis. <laughs> and with a running clock, that's, <laughs> that's not really good. You don't want to play around. <laughs> Maddox with the basketball for Caldwell County over to Roland. Back to Wilson now at the top of the key. He'll give it up mm -hmm. to Wall. Caldwell County running a lot of play around the top of the key. They have most of the game tonight, Bob, but that defense for Marshall just prohibits much inside activity by the Tigers. They try to go in to Wilson and do, but there is a foul on the play before Wilson can put it in. Looks like Robertson will pick up the foul for Marshall County. Third foul on Marshall this quarter. Wall looks inside. Back out to Maddox. Maddox feeds it inside. Quick kick out. And a three on the way and good from Cade Rowland. Second three to nine for that young man. Three on the other end. No good. Rebound Parker. That three brought to you by Little Caesars Pizza of Princeton, where you can get game day ready with a $5.99 hot and ready pizza at Little Caesars. Those things are great on the road trips, Bob. We've had probably one or 12 or 20. Roland's gonna try it again, this time from the wing, back to back. Cade Roland threes, and it's 58-25, under a minute to play in the third quarter. Roland said, I'm not afraid to shoot. And way to shoot, Cade. Popped it up there a couple of times. Marshall County driving baseline, shot blocked by Wilson, but a foul on the play as Brinkley will go to the line for two free throws. And it looks like they got Wall, Leighton Wall, mm -hmm. with the uh, foul. Clock will stop for the free throw. First one up by... Brinkley is good. Coming out of the ball game for Marshall County is Davis. Checking in is going to be Wilson. Roach is going to come back into the ball game for the Tigers, and Luke Parker will come out. Well, best thing Caldwell County can do the rest of this game is don't get another player hurt before the district play on Thursday night. Second free throw exactly. is good. Because that's the second game of the series. And if you win that, uh, you're in good shape if you're tied at the end of the season. Cade Rowland at the point. Drives it around, has to pull his dribble up. Back out to Wall. Wall to Rowland. Roland, just a sophomore. Caldwell County with a very young team on the floor. They go to Wilson. It's knocked away. Wilson picks it up, heaves it at the buzzer. No good. And we are finished with three at the cab. It's Marshall County 60, Caldwell County 25. Back after this. Life is filled with moments. Moments we share with those we love, worry about, and strive to protect the most. At Woodman Life, we provide life insurance and retirement products to help protect you and your family so that you can enjoy all the moments to come. This is Josh Ray, your local Woodman Life agent. Come see us at 1009 West Main Street or give us a call at 365-6111. 
Certain eligibility and age restrictions apply. Whitman of the World Life Insurance Society, Omaha, Nebraska. The WPKY News Edge team is dedicated to keeping you informed around the clock. News, weather, and sports. Join us weekdays at 6.30, 7.30, noon, and 5. Plus, 24-7 when you need it at WPKYonline.com and worldwide on the free WPKY app. The complete coverage you deserve from a proven partner. No fees, the way it should be. We are 50. 50- 1880 103.3 WPKY. Proud supporter of Tiger Sports, Big John's Barbecue says, Go Tigers! Back, back here for the fourth quarter, brought to us by Cozy Living Interiors. Stop in and see Hab. He's your local U Haul dealer. Stop in and see Pam for furniture. Cozy Living, everything a home should be. Marshall to inbound the ball to start the quarter for the call, Dennis Stevens. Running clock here at the cap for the fourth quarter, 60-25. Marshall County with the lead and the basketball. Quick pass across court, corner three is no good. Ball loose on the floor, chased down by Wilson. Wilson gets it back off a pass, off the glass, no good. And Jay Darius Wilson for Caldwell County gets the board. Tigers quickly back up the court with Cade Rowland. Rowland had a pretty good third quarter, but about the only bright spot for the Tigers in that quarter is Marshall County at one point had a 16-3 lead in the quarter. Pass from Maddox deflected. Maddox goes up. Good hustle getting back to try to keep Marshall from scoring, but commits the foul on the other end, sending Kaiser Phillips to the free throw line. It's going to make Kaiser earn them from the line. Guys are yet to be at the free throw line tonight. Phillips played sparingly in the first half. Free throw up and in. So far here in the second half, Marshall's three out of four from the charity stripe. That will easily help their 70% free throw shooting. Second one is good. Phillips two free throws, 62-25. Biggest lead so far for Marshall County. Rolling over to Maddox. Maddox goes left side, feeds it inside to Wilson. Wilson turns around, 10-footer is no good. Board comes down to Marshall County. Quick outlet pass up the court. Swing over for an open three. Look, turns it down, but drives it inside, and that's Kaiser Phillips. Put a good head fake on on the three, pulled it back in and drove Pretty much wide open the right side, 64-25 Marshalls. It's Maddox wanting to go baseline, cut off into the corner to Roland. Roland fires another three, no good. Battle underneath between Roach and number 12 Thompson of Marshall County. Marshall gets the rebound, turns it over on the other end. Maddox with the steal for Caldwell County. Maddox now right wing. They try to go down to Wilson. That's just too soft a pass to get inside that double team. Marshall gets a little fancy on the other end, almost turns it over, gets it back. Wilson blocks the shot of Jacob Wilson, and Caldwell County has the ball back. Two minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. 64-25 the score. Roland guarded out front by Isaac Reynolds. Gets it over to Wall. Wall to Wilson. Back to Roland. Roland goes off the screen. Tries to feed down low to Wilson. Pass is just not there most of the time for Caldwell County. Picked off by the Marshals. Eight turnovers here in the second half for the Tigers. Marshall County fires a three on the other end. Way off the mark by Brinkley. Rebound Caldwell County. Quick outlet pass to Roach. Good look from Roland. Looked up the court. Saw Roach behind the defense. Fired a baseball pass. Three quarters of the court. And to Jack's credit, he didn't pause when he shot the ball. He had to get rid of it. Yeah, even though it probably stung mm-hmm. his hand because that was a pretty good mm-hmm. throw. Marshall works it into Wilson, kicks it back out. Up and in, in the lane is Reynolds. 66-27. Rolling. Fouled at half court. I think that was just a foul to get some players in. Because it looked awful intentional, didn't it, to you, Bob? I mean, yeah. he, he basically tackled him at midcourt. In for Caldwell County is Weston Phelps. 
Also, it looks like number 20, Cannon Littlejohn, into the ball game, as well as number 21, Blake Bard. Wall with the spin move in the lane, up and in, and good, and the foul. Wall showed some pretty good movement there inside the lane for Caldwell County, made a spin move I thought they were going to get him on, on a walk. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Free throw, no good. Board brought down by J.T. Hall, a new substitute for Marshall County. Just about halfway gone here in the fourth quarter. Inside it goes to Marshall, misses the easy shot inside. Weston Phelps with the rebound for Caldwell County. Almost loses it, gets it back to Roland. Roland now near the top of the key for Caldwell. Out to Wall. Wall back to Roland. Oh, we'll pull the offense out and run it again. Now Little John, top of the key, lob into the corner to Phelps. Phelps drives the baseline, puts the shot up off the glass and in. And finally, Bob, a Farmer's Bank shot tonight. Weston Phelps with it, Farmer's Bank and Trust Company, your home of the Tiger debit card, the card that gives back to future athletes of Caldwell County. Marshall's reserves try to feed down low J.T. Hall, overthrows him, turnover Marshall. 66-31, and Caldwell County throws it out of bounds. Pass over to Phelps, couldn't be handled. Hits the sideline, and it's Marshall County basketball as we near three minutes to play in the ball game. Down low it goes to Marshall, kick back out, a three from the corner on the way, and good. That is number 33, Cash Henson. And, Bob, I don't know what the record is for number of players to score in a ball game, but that may be Marshall County. They, they brought 16. I think all 16 of them have scored, Dennis. Roland's going to try another three. This one off the side of the rim, no good. Hall with the board for Marshall County, quickly back the other way. He's going to try it from the other side, no good. Three is off the mark. Rebound, Cannon Littlejohn. Roland now. Dribbles around, finds a seam, goes to the hole on the left side, blocked out of bounds, and it will stay Caldwell County basketball. Luke Maddox back into the ball game for Caldwell, and his corresponding number four, Hunter Anderson, in for Marshall County. Wall looks to put it in play, gets it into Little John. Little John back to Wall. Wall drives, kick out to Maddox. Maddox turned down to three, dribbles back to the top of the key. Wanted to go Little John. That one tipped into the backcourt. Maddox chases it down. So he'll come up the right side over to Wall. Wall looking underneath for Bard. Bard picked off from behind by Henson. Marshall County got away with a palming. 126 left to play in the ballgame, 69-31. All subs on the court now for both squads. Marshall County works it around, lob inside to Hall. Hall goes to the corner. Marshall County drives, kicks it back into the corner. Open three on the way is no good. That was Anderson, but the rebound goes off the leg of Cannon Littlejohn out of bounds. Stay tuned after this one's over for the Trilogy postgame report. We'll have all the stats of the ball game and hopefully talk to Coach K afterwards as well. 45 seconds left to play, 69-31. Marshall County looks content just to work this one around. Driving, kick out to the corner, they'll turn down the three, whip it back out to the top of the key, 30 seconds to play. Phillips with the basketball to Henson. To Reynolds and back to Phillips. Marshall County, Bob, I don't think will put up a shot as long as Caldwell County can stay about an arm's length away. Dribbling out front is Kaiser Phillips. And Marshall County will win this one and improve to 13 and four on the season. Caldwell County drops to three and 11. The final here tonight at the cab, Marshall County 69, Caldwell County 31. We'll take a break and come back and get underway with the Trilogy Post Game Report next on WPKY. 
Did all the holiday goodies play havoc on your waistline? And now it's time to focus on how the bathing suit is going to fit come summertime. Trilogy Performance Sports offers terrific programs designed to get you in shape fast. So save your money and your dignity. Trilogy wants to help you get in shape with their New Year sales the whole month of January. Don't wait. Get started today at Trilogy in Princeton. Follow Trilogy Performance Sports on Facebook for more details. Fredonia Valley Bank is proud of our area senior athletes and is celebrating their accomplishments. They're sharing special senior stories featuring the class of 23 in a senior spotlight. Follow YourSportsEdge.com or download the app and listen for updates on 103.3 WPKY. As Fredonia Valley Bank gives our senior athletes a special moment to shine. Caldwell Medical Associates' new Kotawa Orthopedic Clinic is your one-stop shop for orthopedic care. Our team of medical professionals can diagnose and treat a wide range of orthopedic care and get you back on the path to a happier, healthier you. Whether you need basic fracture care or osteoporosis management, a sports physical, or back pain treatment, we've got you covered. To learn more or to schedule an appointment with an orthopedic provider, visit caldwellmedical.com. Fortner Gas Company has been serving the propane needs of Western Kentucky for 70 years. You'll find offices in Princeton and Katy's. They're your local and family-owned propane supplier. Browse their website to discover the many services and products available. You can shop in person or online, and they can answer any and all questions in person or on the phone. If they're already your propane supplier, they say thank you. If they're not, they would love to be. Fortner Gas Company, a family tradition of service since 1951. Your local McDonald's wants you to know that they are ready to serve you for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Dine-in or the drive through is always open, and they offer curbside pickup service. To avoid the wait in the drive through you can download the McDonald's app and try curbside pickup. Stop in soon and enjoy breakfast, lunch, or dinner at your local McDonald's. Proud to be a part of this community. McDonald's of Princeton, proud supporters of the Caldwell County Tigers. Depositing checks into your planner's bank checking account just got even easier. In addition to stopping by any of our convenient locations, you can now deposit checks for free, even on the go. It's like having a planter's bank teller wherever you are. With a simple snap from your smartphone's camera, your check deposit is in the bank. Planter's Bank Deposit. Reason number 43, that Planter's is the bank where you can expect great things. Member FDIC. Good luck to all Tiger athletes from Bella Marie Boutique. Go Tigers! We are back at the cab as Marshall County comes into town and leaves a big winner tonight, 69-31 over Caldwell County. Join us now on the Trilogy postgame report. Get into shape and feel good at Trilogy Performance Sports. Trilogy is a family-friendly environment that offers a wide range of classes to help you reach all of your fitness and well-being goals. Marshall County brought 16 players tonight, and uh, we're going to check and see on the stats here in a little bit if every one of them scored tonight. If they didn't, there was only one or two that didn't because Marshall County came in, took care of business early, right out of the gate in the first quarter, and cruised in this one, running clock in the third quarter, and they roll to a 69-31 to 31 victory tonight over Caldwell County. Caldwell County drops to 3-11 and 11 on the season while Marshall improves to 14 and four on the year over in the first region. Caldwell County will be back in action on Thursday night as they uh, have a big district double header here at the cab, but the Tigers and Lady Tigers will host Hopkins County Central. The uh, first game of that one be a girls game at six, boys to follow at 7.30. Athletic Center pregame show will be on the air right after the local news on Thursday night. And then these same Tigers We'll be back on the road again on Friday night as they'll travel a short way to Dawson Springs to take on the Panthers and try to avenge an earlier season loss to Dawson Springs in that one. So a couple of district games coming up for the Tigers the rest of the week as we get into that time of the year where it's a lot of district games and uh, several double headers. And we're looking forward to bringing you those here on WPKY. Marshall County clearly just the better team tonight when they came out and uh, showed it early. They rebounded the ball well. They ran their offense well. They took good shots. 
and just about everything they did uh, looked as fundamentally sound as they could get. And they cruise in this one, 69 to 31. Time now for the stats of tonight's ball game, brought to you by Ackridge Farm Supply Ace Hardware, a fourth generation family business. Ackridge Farm Supply has been providing high quality goods and services to Western Kentucky farmers and homeowners since 1933. Now with stores in Fredonia and Eddyville to serve all of your needs. And for tonight's stats, here's Bob Hayes. Thank you, Dennis. The, uh, as Dennis pointed out, Marshall County brought 16 players tonight and 15 of them got in the scoring wow. column for the Tigers tonight. Nobody in double figures led by Cade Rowland with nine points on three three-pointers tonight. Six points for J. Darius Wilson, all on two-point field goals for his six points. Three points for Ryan Hammett on a three-pointer. Three points for Carter Whittington on three out of six from the free throw line. Four points for Xavier Bumpus on one field goal, two out of two from the charity strike. Two points for Weston Phelps. Two points for Leighton Wall. And two points for Jack Rhodes. Total of 31 points tonight for the Tigers. The Tigers committing 23 turnovers here in the game tonight to only eight for Marshall County. Kawa County from the free throw line tonight, five out of 10. And I have the Tigers with 15 boards, seven in the first half, eight in the second half, led by J. Darius Wilson with eight rebounds, two by Luke Parker, one each from Jack Roach, Cannon Littlejohn, Ryan Hammett, Luke Maddox, and Weston Phelps. For Marshall County, led uh, two, point, two players in, in double figures. First one with 12 points was Trey Wall, 11 points for Alex Staples, then a lot of players in single digits, and we'll just go down here <laughs> from top to bottom. Luke, Logan Parker with two points, Hunter Anderson with three points, Wade Moore with three points, Jack Thompson with two points, Logan Davis with six points, Kaiser Phillips with six points, Tommy Robertson with seven points, Hunter Wallace with four points, Chase Binkley with two points, Oren Phelps with four points, two points for Isaac Reynolds, three points for Cash Henson, and two points for Jacob Wilson. Total of 69 points here tonight for Marshall County. And as Bob finishes up the uh, stats, we're gonna be joined by Coach K here on the Trilogy post game report. Coach, thanks for coming up tonight. Uh, tough one tonight for the Tigers, but that was against one of the better teams. I think they were the, uh, the third best team right now in the, the latest rankings in the first region. So you knew it was a quality team coming in. Absolutely, they were, you know, they're, <clears throat> excuse me, they're well coached. Um, they're, they're extremely disciplined. Um, they, they just do a lot of things in the, on the basketball court very, very well. And, um, you know, we knew coming in that we were gonna have to play discipline. We we're gonna have to get back in transition. We're gonna have to, you know, just play physical um, and, I told the guys, there's just a lot of, a lot of, um, we made a lot of mental mistakes tonight. You know, we took that first punch early. Um, I just don't think we ever recovered. The other, and the thing I saw, Coach, which, which, which to me, I look for things uh, that, that are positive tonight. I thought, in, in, even though we were down 25 to 30, we were still running some offensive sets out there that uh, they were jumping passing lanes, they were over, over pursuing. Uh, our offensive players, but that, that's going to help us in the future down the road to be able to run an offensive set, to be able to get the ball in somebody's hands that can do something with it. A couple times it paid off definitely for J. Darius Wilson tonight. Absolutely. You know, you know the <laughs> continuity is one of the things that we have not had the liberty of this year for whatever reason. We've had um, you know, all kinds of uh, injuries that have bitten us, and um, I don't think since game two we've really put the same lineup on the court um, uh, too much at all. Um, just trying to find that, you know, a lot of guys, and to be honest with you, we're putting a lot of guys in there that um, that need more reps than what they're getting before they come to a varsity stage. But I tell you what, um, the attitude of these guys, um, the work ethic, work ethic of these guys uh, has been really, really good. You know, you know, tonight's not indicative. You know, Marshall's a, a really, really good basketball team. Um, and our guys are, um, it's kind of, you know, um, 
going to work every day and then uh, having your boss tell you you're going to do something different, learn something over new every day. That's what kind of what some of our guys are doing. And, you know, it, it's, hard to, it's hard to fault them uh, because, you know, hey, I need you to be the point guard today, but tomorrow I need you to be our big man. And, you know, it, it's, it's – um, as a coach, you want to get frustrated, but then you're thinking, you know, in the grand scheme of things, of all the all the things I'm asking this player to learn, these players to learn, um, and then tomorrow it could be, you know, somebody else in there that's that's running that and run a different spot, and it, it's just, um, you know, there's some things we got to work out, and we knew that, but um, hopefully the second half of the season, I told the guys, you know, the first half of the season, you know, it, it, it's almost over. Um, we need some just some consistency the second half of the season hopefully you know we can get healthy uh we can get you know a full team and um and that way we can develop some continuity coach before we get into the second half of the season like you talked about with district games coming up uh twice the rest of this week i do want to mention a couple of players and this may seem like something small but i'm sure your coaching staff has caught on to it a couple of players that are ready to shoot and this schedule has made you better be ready to shoot because of the quickness of who we play but I like Ryan Hammett and Cade Rowland. If they're open, they get a good look. They'll square up and let it fly. Both of them had a, a three. I think Cade had three of them tonight for the uh, leading scorer spot with nine points. Absolutely. You know, those two guys can shoot. And, you know, those are two guys that, you know, you talk about throwing guys in different roles, um, throwing those two guys in different roles, you know, um, of, of asking them to do, you know, more than – I don't want to say more than they're capable of, but more than they're um, – that we need – we need them to do more than what um, – than what their typical role is on our team. You know, uh, neither one of those guys really had a whole lot of varsity experience coming into this year. Um, and to be honest with you, they, they had a lot of JV experience, but uh, there's just something, the game is much faster here. And, you know, those two guys, they're, they're trying to absorb everything. They're trying to learn, and um, they're doing a good job. And, you know, you're right. And, and I tell you what, nobody, nobody would believe this, but in practice we light it up. Those two guys light it up. Um, and, well, we can believe you know, that. It, 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 it's, um, we just got to, you know, get some continuity and, and I think it's my word of the night I guess is, is trying to get um, getting guys back to their their normal roles get roles they're comfortable with because you know if you're if you're a shooter and you're in your comfortable role that rim starts to look a whole lot bigger and if you take yourself out of that role and ask you to do a lot more stuff that rim start, sometimes looks a lot smaller and um, so hopefully we can um, but to answer your question those guys you know those guys can shoot those guys I'm comfortable with those guys shooting and they did a good job tonight. Coach, and, uh, and, and uh, Coach, we, we, we knew that uh, Colin Whittington was out maybe week beginning his second week of a two- to four-week maybe outage, but we noticed D-Man not in the lineup tonight. Something injury there? Yeah, they're both just dealing with some issues, um, you know, uh, injury issues, not discipline issues. Mm-hmm. they they just uh, just trying to get healthy. Um, you know, it seems like, you know, whenever, whenever one comes back, another one goes down. And so hopefully we can get some guys healthy uh, very, very quickly. Um, and, you know, we, like you said, we got, you know, a couple of big district games coming up at the end of the week. Um, you know, hopefully we can get those guys back, uh, but, no, but no guarantees. And you're listening to the Trilogy postgame report with Coach K joining Bob and myself here for the, uh, the postgame report. Uh, Coach, you've got a, a team that's going in. You're going to start playing the Hopkins Centrals, the Dawsons, the Madisonvilles, Lyon, uh, I think still a couple of times, Trigg County. Coming up in the schedule, teams you're more familiar with, if you will, as you try to get this team healthy. Tell us some a bit uh, uh, about what you look for the last three to four weeks of this season and maybe the turnaround of what some of these players can and can't do once you start getting healthy. I mean, the schedule doesn't get any easier. Um, we've played a tough schedule all year long. You know, we play a lot – We play, to be honest with you, we play a lot of games <laughs> over the last yeah. half of the season. We got a couple weeks with four games and three games. You had some freshman JV games in there, a lot of guys playing on both teams. Um, but I tell you, I'm just looking for um, these guys to continue to buy in, uh, these guys to continue to, uh, to bring a good work ethic, good attitude every single day. And I'm hoping that, you know, coaches and I have talked about this, you know, several times that, you know, early on, you know, um, I think Luke's only been Luke Parker's only been back a couple of games. You know, Carter's been down. Uh, Zabie's been out. Jay Darius has been out. Um, we've had several guys, and Car- Collins been out now. Um, we've had several guys that have been thrown into those roles. And I guess the coaches and I've been talking about, you know, when when we get a full team healthy, um, the minutes that those younger guys, those inexperienced guys, have got, um, are going to pay off down the stretch. Um, you know, we 
uh, I told the guys, I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm confident in this team. Um, and we have to, you know, even in the midst of, amidst of struggles, um, good stuff can still come out of it. Um, you know, obstacles were, were putting your path to be overcome. We talked about that a lot. And, you know, hopefully one of the obstacles we can overcome in the second half is, is to, uh, one, get healthy and use that, um, and ex use that experience that some of our younger guys got or inexperienced guys to be able to um, benefit us going down the stretch and give a, give a little more confidence. And the other thing I, I, I took note of tonight, Coach, is I feel like Jay Darius mixed it up more so tonight than I've seen him all year mix it up inside, and he's got to uh, be that tough inside because he, he got a couple of nice passes and a couple of nice looks, able to get the ball go down, led us with eight rebounds tonight. So, uh, you know, little things uh, that, that uh, kind of uh, build on – Little things keep building, keep building. And, uh, you know, I, I, th I thought, uh, and, and the other thing that always impresses me is when the subs go, go in, they're, they're, they're in there to try to do something. We got a basket from, from Mr. Wall. We got a basket from uh, uh, Weston Phelps. Yeah, Weston Phelps. There. Yeah, and, and uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, pats on the back to those guys. Absolutely. You know, the guys um, I tell everybody at the very beginning of the season, everybody wants something that I can't give to them 32 minutes a game. That's what they want to play. And so those guys come in and they want to come in and compete. Um, they compete every day in practice, and I wish I could reward them more um, as, as uh, the whole roster. But um, you, know, you put five on the court, but the, you're right. Those two guys came in and, and made some nice – Leighton made a nice move on the right in front of our mm -hmm. bench here, and then Weston makes a nice rip to go to the basket. Um, you know, and, um, you know, I just tell them you need to be ready. Just be ready. Coach, we appreciate you coming up, and, and we can uh, tell you to pass it on to the team. I know our fans and us here at the radio station, we really appreciate the effort of these kids and, and the, uh, the what they put on the floor every night because you're coming in on any given night. It seems like you have at least two starters sitting on the bench in street clothes, and the rest of the kids are coming in playing as hard as they can against a very tough schedule. You don't pad this schedule with a lot yeah. of – uh, get healthy games. This is a, a schedule that has some pretty good talent on it up and down the line, but we appreciate their effort night in and night out, and it's only going to pay off down the road as we get into these district games. We hope so. Thank you guys for what you guys are doing. You guys put in, um, you probably get overlooked, but you guys put in just as much time on, the, especially late nights, um, the, as, as coaches do. So we appreciate you guys. Well, thanks, sir. We for enjoy it, coach. Coming up. Oh, it's, a, it's a ball for us to do that. And <laughs> we thank you for coming up here on the Trilogy post game report. That's Coach K here. Caldwell County drops this one tonight to Marshall County 69-31. to You've been listening to Tiger Basketball and WPKY Princeton. Uh, Bob, let's give out a couple of awards here tonight. Let's start out with the clutch play of the game, brought to you by Coleman Auto Parts, your hometown Napa Auto Parts dealer. They have tools, equipment, and many other items for heavy-duty trucks, marine, golf cart, and farm. Stop by and see Charles Quinn Coleman and staff at Coleman Auto Parts in Princeton. Napa know-how at its best. That award, uh, Dennis, where I'm going to give, we're going to give to Cade Rowland. Uh, clutch hit two, two threes, uh, hit three threes tonight, but two of them back to back almost in one, one or two trips down. Yeah, I think the, it was back to back. Yeah, uh, down the floor, which obviously wasn't going to threaten Marshall County and and their big lead, but but that's something you like to see. He got open and took the shot. And now let's go to our player of the game, brought to you uh, each and every night by U-Ride. U-Ride of Princeton gives you that hometown feel by providing personalized appointments to accommodate your busy schedule and remaining committed to you even after the sale. Contact Lee or Tommy for an appointment at U-Ride of Princeton. And our player of the game is going to be Jay Darius Wilson with six points tonight, eight rebounds, uh, three two-point field goals, uh, but but a lot of work inside, maybe four block shots tonight in addition oh, to his eight, eight rebounds. So a, a good effort tonight, and we need his effort uh, really to increase twofold as we get into these games with Hopkins County Central, Madisonville, and on down the road. Our schedule really perks up uh, starting on Thursday night and for the rest of the month and into early February. We're going to take our last break of the night here on the Trilogy postgame report. When we come back, we'll look at that broadcast schedule 
and uh, get ready for Thursday night against Hopkins Central. So stay tuned with us here on the Trilogy Post Game Report on WPKY. Hi, I'm Rachel Chandler with Farmers Bank. Did you know your money can make more money when you level up to an interest-bearing checking account? Grow your balance at Farmers Bank with our Unique Plus checking account featuring a 2.5% annual percentage yield on balances up to 15000 Unique Plus is a win-win local banking option. Call or visit us today and let our expert bankers show you how to get the most out of your deposits. Farmers Bank, live unique, bank unique. Member FDIC, terms apply.